Hi, Damon Mercier. Today we're going to take a look at the IBM 3490E auto loader. Um, this supports both 3480 cartridges and 3490E cartridges, as you can see with the uh, white or light grey bottom there. So what we're going to do is actually connect this to a Linux machine and we're then going to look at the commands to actually interrogate the robotics and issue the commands to load and unload the cartridges into the tape drive and then we will actually uh, write some data using TAR. Once we've done that with this library we're then going to move on to the Quantum i3 scalar library with LTL uh, which is on a SAS interface and we'll look at how we control that one as well and find the device names for that. Okay let's jump into it. So we've got a tape drive to attach to the machine so first thing we need to do is identify the tape drive device names. The easiest way to do this is with dmessage. So if we were to run a dmessage and pipe that to grep in SCSI, what we'll get back is the uh, device names. And we can see here um, we have the drive attached ST0 and underneath that the changer um, uh, is on CH0. Um, now we need to use the SG device names with the command so it's SG3 and SG4. So what we can actually do then to control the robotics on here we need the MTX command. By default this isn't installed so the next thing we would do is do an apt get install MTX. Uh, mine's already installed. Once the MTX is installed, we can then do MTX, tac f, and the device, slash dev, slash sg4, and we can do a status. And you see straight away, this is reported back all 10 slots and the positions. And we can see there's a cartridge in slot 3. So what I can actually do now is use the MTX command. And if I say load, 3, it will automatically assume drive 0 if it's submitted and run this and what we'll see is the robotics now are going to come click that cartridge take it down to the uh, drive and we'll see the actual tape bleed be picked okay so we've got the tape loaded so now we're actually in a directory here for the PWA I'm in demo if I do an ls, an ls minus lah, we can see we've got a few uh, bytes of data here. So what I can actually do is issue a command, I'll say tar, back c, v, f, and the device is still going to be st0, and we'll do star.txt. And if we run this command, this will actually back up all of these files to the tape. As you can see, that's done. And we should be able to do a status on there. Um, just check the command, and we'll run a status on there. On the device, this will ask the tape drive to list all the files. Okay. So the files are still on the disk here. If I was to do an rm star.txt, which would delete all of these files, an ls we can see they're gone but we've still got them on tape so i can issue a tar xvf slash dev st0 and this will actually uh, restore the files and then do an ls you can see we've restored them back from the tape so let's uh, unload the tape with mtx tac f slash dev slash SG3 and we will say unload and let's put this into slot 2. First of all injecting. Let's uh, just do a quick status on here. So you can see we've got a cartridge in slot 2 now and slot 6. Okay, we're connected to the uh, quantum system now. So what we'll do first of all 
um, is find the device. So we can do this with a D message. And if we pipe that again to SCSI, I'm sorry, to grep and SCSI. Okay, so you can see the output of the command here. We can see we've got, if I scroll back a little bit, so we've got CD-ROM drive. And then we've got a IBM Ultra M7, so it's an RTO7 drive, SASH drive. We can see the SCSI address of 2 on the first drive. And then if we scroll on down, we can see on the same drive we've got a sequential medium changer on LUN 1 on the drive 1, or which is uh, SCSI address 2. So we can see. Uh, changer here is on num1 and then on address 1 st1 is the second drive so sg1 is the first drive sg2 here and we can see is the changer and sg3 is the second drive so again what we can now do is use the mtx command so if I do an mtx and I do slash Sorry, tack f and then slash deb slash sg2 and status. We can see we've got the slot information for all 50 slots reported and the two data transfer elements, 0 and 1, reported. So you can see we've got tape in slot 8 there. So what we'll do is load slot 8 into drive 1, or 0 rather, the first drive. Let's do MTX. Tack f slash dev slash sg2 the robotics again and we're going to say load 8 drive 0 okay you can see the robotics now grabbing the tape and take now to the drive See that's inserted. So what we can now do is an MT slash dev dev slash dev slash st0 and we do a status. Okay, so we don't have MT on here, so again I'm just going to install this. So yes and yes, let this happen. Okay, so that's been installed. And we can now see that uh, device is ready there's tape in there so on this basis if I was to just make a directory demo CD into demo uh, so there's nothing in here let's just create some empty files also do DD input file slash dev slash zero and let's do a paint of 1024 and a block size of 1024 okay and ank file we'll call that um, demo.txt okay so ls tech la h uh, what I've done here is actually created a one gig file and we will now copy cp uh, demo.txt to demo2.txt and then we'll do a ls. So we've now got two gigs of data here. What I want to do is issue the tar command. I say tar uh, cvf create, verify and file in this case is dev st0 and we're going to files are going to be star.txt and what this will do is write the two gigs of data to that tape okay so the command failed there so I think we've probably got the wrong device or the wrong drive address so 
So what we'll do is just try st1 and run the same command. Okay, so that's complete. So again, we can now list the commands on here. If we change this to a T and specify the device, this will actually list the files on the tape. And in here, if I first of all delete these files from here. Yes, yes, so the last are both gone. What I can now do is issue a XVF to extract them and that will restore them back to the current directory. Okay, see they're back. So at the moment we've just taken the basic files and wrote them directly to tape loaded and unloaded. So let's unload that tape. Let's run that and we'll see the uh, robotics. Let's grab the uh, drive again. Let's load the tape. And again, let's unload that one more time. done okay thank you for making it to the end of the video don't forget to like and please feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions below and i'll do my best to answer and you should find some other videos that youtube thinks are appropriate being recommended on the uh, right here thank you